Yes. Yes. So it is time to start. Everybody's on board. So let's start. Okay. I will sit down, but I will keep talking. I promise. Here we go. So this tour, yeah, is uh, three hours long. We will spend three hours together. So make sure you listen. You behave. Yeah. You behave. Uh, so uh, during these three hours, we will have a few stops. The first one we will be in the outskirts of Nomea City in an area called La Concepcion, where we will uh, visit a church, a nice old church built in 1874, uh, and have a stop, a gorgeous spot on the top of Puerto Hill, gorgeous viewpoint you will see. So about 10 minutes there. And after that, we will take you down to the beach. Uh, the beach is called the Ansevata Beach, one of the most popular uh, beaches in Numea, where you will uh, be served, well, we will take you to a restaurant where uh, you will be served some French uh, apple tart, coffee, tea, water, of course, and I think apple juice as well. Size buildings, we have just a few, really. This is not a big city. It is the capital city of New Caledonia, but compared to what you are used to, actually, I don't even want to the main sport in this country is uh, football, right? We do have to, I mean, we do like to uh, watch rugby as well, but we are not very good at it. So we like we stick to watching rugby and playing football. Of course, we have a lot of sports and can be practiced here. This is the lychee season. It's lychee season and it's the best season of the year because we love lychees. Uh, they are actually not native yeah, here on the right, but this is already, yeah, no, no, no lychees. Yeah, a few still left on this one. Uh, not native trees to Australia, uh, to uh, New Caledonia. They were introduced from uh, China. But this is it. It's lychee season, also mango season. Uh, high school on the left. We just passed. So we are here. Let's say it is a quarter. Okay, so these are basically um, the plants of people that have been cared. They call it a miracle church. So they come here to pray, and then when their prayers are answered, they come to give thanks in the form of the plants. This is my bus for today, a lot more different than the last one. better ride. I've got AC and a speaker so you can hear everything, the lights and everything. Okay, going to the top of the hill, this is like the viewing point, which is a bit... Oh, oh, oh. 
Day Lighthouse is the oldest uh, functioning monument of New Caledonia. I know that it was built in France in 1861 and it used to stand in Paris for two years before they took it apart and brought it over here. Right? The first day when it was lit up in New Caledonia was the 15th of November 1865. That was the same day of Napoleon III's wife, Emperor Eugene's Saint Day. And since then, you know, it's showing the safe passage for the ships coming uh, that come to the mayor. And again, the uh, beautiful view of the St. Mary Bay on the right and the smoky mountains in the background. It is getting worse. Yeah, it looks like there are new fires that started uh, this afternoon, even. I'll have to read the news. And we see from above the red roof area, our own. Remember, we came from left, which is actually east, and we'll be heading west here, southwest. Uh, and this bay that you see from here in, uh, in front of us, this is the Anzvata Bay. Again, Anzvata translates to Sandalwood. Sandalwood Bay is the, uh, has the largest beach uh, in the Maya city runs for over one kilometer. The building on the left is, uh, is a swimming pool, was built in 1966. There are, of course, several pools around the city, but this is the only one that has and a it's a very good uh, yeah, Interesting, in the evening when the lights are on, very often dolphins, sometimes even dugongs, sea cows come here to feed because it's easier for them to see the pool. So this is where they come. So while you are having, you know, enjoying your dinner, you can watch the sea life under your feet. It's fun. Inside one of the restaurants. So the store includes a light lunch and some drinks. I hope they got Wi Fi now. Huh? Overlooking the ocean, which you can't see. My gosh, oh, look at the gorgeous. Okay, guys, this place, so, so beautiful. The clothes are so beautiful, but it is expensive. Like, I'm not kidding you, it is extremely expensive.
Okay, sitting area, obviously closed. I like, it's just getting some really good vibes out of this place. Oh, the water is so clear too. Okay, as I um, suspected, it is closed. Again, it is a Sunday. Oh no, there's some people in. Shall we try? Hello! Okay. <laughs> Good and you. Gosh, they're playing Celine Dion. Like for really, I know it's a French restaurant, but they're playing Celine Dion. And then yes, but the staff is crazy, like crazy fun. That is beautiful city, beautiful people. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and see how much of this place I can actually take in in this short period of time because. My tour was actually just a three hour tour. I'm gonna try and speak less because it's very windy and there's cars obviously. So yeah. Thank you. 
Navy. We have a few of those around the city. But all these apartment buildings, quite a few in this area. Uh, another gorgeous spot. Uh, this is the, the bay where the city's uh, aquarium's water gets recycled, which is done daily. Lemon Bay, well, the name comes from some people say that uh, lemon sharks used to hang out in this area back a long time ago, not anymore. It's all safe today. Uh, others say that uh, uh, this whole bay used to be, you know, lined by lemon trees back in the late 1800s. I'm not sure what the reason, the real reason is. Uh, uh, main thing is this is the most popular beach in Nomea. People show up here as early as 6 a.m. and they are here until the sun goes uh, down, which is just up after 6 p.m. That's what you get for living this close to the equator. 12 hours daylight pretty much all year around. That is something I could change if I could. These are just too short here. 